Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, welcome to another one of my short Minecraft update videos. Today's video may be quality wise quite different than what I've been doing the other way the other days, but it is because my computers are crushing other things, really preparing them for the Minecraft universe. And I really wanted to have that stuff ready for the morning, so I'm sorry. But it's not going to be preventing me from doing a bit of an update here. So, uh, so like chilling with uh, Hinken008 here in the library. And yeah, I mean, obviously when you're snooping around in the library all alone on the server in like morning hours, you're going to be, you're going to end up with a title such as The Clever. So, uh, so yeah, that was, uh, I mean, that, it just had to happen. So, so that was, uh, that was really cool. The reason why I was snooping around in the library was because I was, um, I had to fix some of the server grief stuff that had been going on, doing a lot of fixing today and really getting back on track with a lot of the stuff that was demolished, griefed, whatever you want to be calling it, fixing mods, mod permissions. We got ourselves another mod today, Halo Thief, and uh, I'm pretty hyped about that. A lot of you guys have been requesting mod. Uh, you want to offer your help as moderators, and I'm really happy about that. For now, I feel we are pretty well covered. That does not mean I'm not going to have more mods on the server at all. But right now, I want to be looking more forward towards adding more stuff to the server. Still have some cheaty pants things that I need to take care of and. Once those things are sorted, I'm gonna be flooding the server with like really, I think, amazing content that I hope you guys are truly going to enjoy. Right now, I am enjoying checking out the stuff you are making because as you're gonna be seeing in this video here, it is insane what is going on already in the plots area. You guys are unbelievably amazing at this and that really excites me, it really excites me. And I almost want to share some of my other plans, but as you guys know, I do have, I have like a massive maze project going on and, and quite a few other things as well. So, uh, so I'm not going to be talking too much about other things that are planned out really. I was also chilling a bit in a new area I designed and it is a forest area or that is what it is meant as it is a part of the FFA world where you can port to from the lobby. And I just wanted to theme some of it a bit around logging because many of the new players that come ask me like, where do I go to get wood? So instead of just saying go into the FFA world, I made a dedicated portal and small area to a place in the FFA world where I just flooded in trees. And I'm theming it a little bit here with some massive giant trees just because I really want to give the world a bit of a different feeling. So whenever I had like a small break from from looking into mod permissions and stuff like that, I was I was digging into uh trees really, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I feel it has to be done. So once again here saying hi to a few of you guys and it has been really amazing. So many of you have been like interested in having a small chit chat and it's really cool that you have time for that when you're coming in to, to play and have fun so thank you guys very much for that I am I'm really honored about the like crazy amount of players that are coming already and really how amazing most of you guys are when you come here I actually made this massive plot today and it was it was something I intended to be a patron thing but some of you are just so rich already that uh, even these huge plots I'm making, this was recorded like in the afternoon. And uh, like giving you an idea about how the plots were split around. And as you're going to be seeing later in the video, it's like it is insane how much building and buying plots that has been going on in just a few hours while I have been case clicking and... Um, taking the youngest kids to bed and stuff like that so like really really so much activity going on so much creativity so much energy it is it is i love it and it yeah this is it's just silly pants crazy and I, yeah but we're gonna dig more into that later really i made um 
some small like changes to the town area and what I'm going to be doing now is just I'm testing out the portals because some of them were broken while I fixed the other stuff I broke something new but one of the things I started out spending the day on was really making a new mining not a new mining new area to some of these options that players should have access to such as furnaces and enchanting and this here is the new wood portal leading to the FFA wood area where like loads of trees and I'm gonna be like filling it every now and then the world is also gonna be regenerated at some point but I also want that to be about what you guys use the world for because if you make a lot of really crazy things in there it's an entire world so there is unlimited space I can just move the portal but I, I want it to be so that you don't feel safe with what you are doing in the FFA world because the world can reset and others can grief your stuff really so the plots are there for you to feel safe about having one or more areas to uh, to really crush it in I wanted these massive tree areas to be I don't know how many of you guys have been playing World of Warcraft but the area around Nagrand has like forever a place in my heart and it's not because I'm trying to copy that in any way but I wanted to have these huge floating trees with water coming down and as I'm building Simi at 5 here comes by and starts building on top of it I'm like dude are you making a house here I'm, I'm I'm theming this universe and so I'm just teasing him putting some water in there and yeah then you know, I'm giving him some buckets to remove it uh, and he's like I'm sorry I'm like dude don't be I think it's really cool you dug your way all the way up here I saw you like digging up to this massive tree this is the FFA world it is here for you guys to just crush it in and if you want to have a house here on this massive tree you just go build it that is completely up to you but so, so it was not like I didn't mean to like boohoo anyone away and uh, we had a small chit chat and I just said like I was like theming the world I don't know if um, there is gonna be a house there or if it is moved to to another location but I, it was so amazing just I'm minding my own business just chilling a bit with the tree and then somebody comes hey I'm gonna be building here so first got the massive design work here on the house really amazing with windows just you know, needing a bit of a roof but again one of those really cool creations that like really inspiring for me to look at build up from nothing in what one and a half day two days something like that it is and that is including the price to pay and maintain a plot so <laughs> really you, you guys are just crushing it a lot of these plots are buildings in process massive projects some of you guys are expanding like crazy what you have going on on these plots I don't know how many of you already own like two three or more plots you're just like owning main town main town here and yeah I am um, it, it really makes me happy to see how you guys are, are making this world your world and of course I'm going to get the streets sorted so it, they can't be griefed and stuff like that posted some command options on the whiteboard so players could give uh, building access restrict restrict access to the plots give players just a bit more control of what the plots can be used for to prevent griefing to be able to help each other construct and stuff like that gonna be adding more options for player and player cooperation and Dragonheart came to the plots world and started building and nobody nobody removed it nobody touched it I just think it's so cool it's like okay I just started I don't really have what it takes to make a plot I want to live here with you guys so I'm just building this and like loads of these aggro farms going on <laughs> it, is, it is so cool and this is like this is one upping everything I have seen before in terms of an aggro farm really 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 cool stuff um, the awesome SW yeah. I mean you're gonna have that acrobatic skill thousand I have no doubt about it and 
I just I'm gonna be keeping a close eye on the different MC MMO charts to see how you guys are crushing it because I have to give it to you guys you are like truly dedicated to the things that you are doing in here it is really really awesome and especially things such as the acrobatics because of the PvP jumping area that also came online today should be anyway I haven't had a chance to test it out with one of the other accounts but um, I, I did get all of the region stuff sorted at least like the, the major floors so that everything is a bit more up and running so I'm scooping like around just checking out the different signs so you guys can see who own the different plots and yeah made this PvP area here it has a high level enchanting area it has it has lava it has furnaces it has everything you pretty much need to do whatever you want also some pressure plates with effects on it so you can go in there and you can crush it have fun you can also risk it and really go there with your good stuff and hope nobody ganks you in the process I am gonna be having scoreboards and rewards for PvPing it is it is one of the things I expected to be have like on day two kind of thing but just permission management took a little longer than I expected and it really came down to me having a plugin installed that took some of the permissions from essentials and managed it on their own so, so that was really nice to get that sorted I have been spending like 11 hours trying to figure out why <laughs> the correct permissions didn't do what they should but uh, but now that stuff is done and it's going to free up a lot of time that I can use to have fun with a lot of other stuff bit of the town center griefing I made this glass box where you can summon skeletons and then there is a button you can crush them or you can watch them burn in the sunlight whatever you want it was just a little bit of fun really and it is something I'm fooling around with in relation to PvP areas as well that while you jump around you're gonna be summoning this cluster of monsters and at some point somebody's gonna jump somewhere where they are all released and it, it really changes how this PvP area works because the more action the more PvE monsters are gonna be joining in on the fun trying to really just eat you and yeah here we have like the whiteboard I wrote some of the commands and flags players can use trying to make this like a bit of a help area where players can look up information it ended up getting um, assistance by players in how it looks so I <laughs> need to set some permissions up for that area as well but like I said uh, slow learning curve sometimes but it is because I've been focusing mainly on the moderation options because they are apparently very needed so scooping a bit into the future in terms of when I looked at the plots world the last time and this here is the, the like the big plot it is now a sugar farm yeah and we have hello thief 8 here crushing it working up MC MMO skills and this here is actually um, a plot by another player Erasmus that has given member permissions to Halo Thief so that they can work to God together on this specific plot and that is that is really cool a lot of things that you guys will be able to do with these plots and the permissions and some of it may be a bit geeky but I'm pretty sure that with a few like <laughs> perhaps videos explaining it or just really help from all the amazing players it's gonna work out amazingly so somebody decided we needed water in <laughs> look at that stuff that is also uh, one of Rasmus's um, plots yeah he's crushing it like crazy so flying around really being the snooper here and it's uh, it's not meant to be creepy it is really just because I am so amazed by the amount of energy and the progression you guys have had in Minecraft since the like, launch of the server is so short ago that I wanted to go around I, I feel like every one of you deserve to get like 3,000 uh, kudos because just just getting to the plot point is is crazy based on the short life of, of this server and you're just crushing it like cool designs huge huge places and some of you have like more plots and yeah I don't know man you, you um you definitely know what you're doing and I just uh, it's it's really cool so I'm just 
I'm doing the flyby, checking them out, showing them to others, also meant as inspiration. So I use the bell if I'm home. I love that. I really love that. And I, I got trapped in here, really. I, I did like the noob trap thing. <laughs> I couldn't get out. So uh, because I don't have, I don't want to be breaking anyone's bricks, even though I can. So I, I had to go game mode three in order to to snoop out of there so I was just flying a bit around in that so that I wouldn't be interfering too much with other players properties just just really amazed by how how you guys have designed them so I I wanted to um, to showcase all of this here because it is a universe in the making and uh, like the largest part of it is the community part no one person administration tools world edit or not can ever be as creative as all of you guys as you are already showing here it is yeah I'm baffled guys really so uh, so this is in my opinion this is the important part of the world already and you guys are just growing it like crazy I think there are like five six plots left so obviously I'm gonna be making more of those but as I also mentioned online this here is what I consider to be like the plot world it does not mean that there are no plots other places i want plots in the pvp area i'm thinking beach areas i may have some in huge trees again options for players that want to go explore perhaps like out of nowhere you find the sign and you can claim like a massive plot in some kind of wood somewhere if you want to be king of the hill perhaps there is an entire mountain you can claim it's it's like up for exploration and that is i mean i really like making stuff like that because there are so many different ways you can play a game such as minecraft and i really want to try to add a lot towards exploration as well and things like that and now that we are getting closer to having less cheating options in the game i'm going to be filling in like bit by bit these other ideas i have that i want to be to be offering as experiences in the game we need a, a bit more play testing on some of some of the plugins for anti cheating but slowly but surely moving forward so scooping by here just again i'm i'm, I'm flying around here quite a bit because actually we were like two three people online at this time here and i just just checking it out really because even though I have seen it quite a few times today it's like every time I turn around somebody built a house somewhere a house like out of nothing like oh look at me I'm just gonna ba -ba 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 -ba. now I have a house and, yeah amazing houses like crazy crazy amazing look at this waterfall here with this aggro as well like, <laughs> why not why not just make something like massive quite a few nether portals going on and you have told me that nether is broken and I have made a warp to nether but it is nether in another world and it is because we're running multi worlds on the server and when I made the plots world I made a flat world like single tier with only the normal part of the world whereas oh yeah, I'm, I fixed this stuff here so I do need to make a nether for it. I thought I could just open nether in one of the other worlds and it would match up nicely. But of course the portals need to like point to a specific one. So that is going to be sorted as well. It shouldn't be a massive thing, but it is something I do need to read into. I'm not expecting to be able to just create a new world, call it the same name, underscore nether. But I'm going to try that first, of course, <laughs> because if that can fix it, then uh, yeah, it's all good times really. So this was pretty much everything I, I had to share, just like showing the FFA portal to the, the starting part of the FFA world and that this is in fact like the same world for those that are interested in or use locations and stuff like that if you want to be checking out where the, like one portal is compared to the other. Still a lot of work I want to do in theming this part of the world and whether or not it's gonna happen really depends on yeah i'm noobing throwing this bucket like all the time i'm on a new keyboard on one of my computers and <laughs> i just really need to to get used to having these um these keyboard 
buttons in a different way than what I normally play with but what I was about to say was that how much I like theme these worlds depend on how much they are used because if you guys have like your own plans I don't want to be coming all admin uh, pencil on it and just uh, erase and rewind so somebody cut a massive hole in this giant tree that I'm making and started digging upwards and that's fine with me but I'm <laughs> I'm closing the hole and it's not to be a douche but um, if you really want to live in there you're gonna have to remove these logs again because I wasn't sure if it was just somebody going on a discovery or somebody that actually decided I want to do something with this tree so uh, so yeah I am uh, <laughs> I'm just you know nudging it a little bit fixing it putting in all uh, the tree trunks back again and that is pretty much what I like casually did when I wasn't looking up on permissions so, like yeah really dark recording here but anyway guys that was also pretty much what I had to share in this video here today like I said a bit of a different one quality wise but um, yeah, I really need to get some rest so <laughs> as always thank you very much for watching